Hello, good evening engineers. Welcome sa another edition ng Even Learning. Uh, it's me again, uh, Donny, uh, joining you for this evening, having a, uh, having a good day. Uh, it's a good day to learn something new. All right, I want to share you my screen. Oops, uh, let me do that again. All right, welcome. So for tonight, uh, we'll be having ACMV Fundamentals. Uh, we are having ACMV Fundamentals. We are done with uh, psychrometric analysis and we're done with air handling units. So for tonight, we will be discussing fans and bumps. Uh, for this session, we will be having, uh, we will be discussing the types of fans, types of pumps, the affinity loss, and the type of uh, fan and pump connection that we can use. This training session will be approximately about an hour. Uh, in, at the end of the session, we will have a, a question and answers. If you have some question and answers, you can uh, directly ask me for those that are in uh, Zoom. For those that are watching in Facebook, you can leave a comment there. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if there are some questions that aren't tackled, uh, you can always drop me an email or drop me a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right. So again, our, our topic for tonight is fans and pumps. Uh, before I continue, uh, uh, can I get a thumbs up if you guys can hear me all right? Okay naman, naririnig naman ako? It's clear, sir. It's clear. Okay, thank you. It's clear. 
All right. So. My name is Donny Gabriel. I am a professional mechanical engineer for those who haven't known me yet. So those who are meeting me for the first time, I'm a graduate of Mapua Institute of Technology way back in 2001. I, I just received my master's degree from AMA University last year during the pandemic. I started my career with RJ Calquit Partners and uh, worked overseas uh, shortly after that. I moved to Singapore way back 2009, and so I've been here for more than 10 years already. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, you can always reach me at evenlearning.sg at gmail.com, or you can message me, call me, uh, ping me, whatever it is. My handphone is written there. All right, again, for our topic for today is fans and pumps. We are uh, talking about uh, types of fans, types of pumps, the affinity law. We will also discuss the fan curve and pump curve and uh, fan and pump connection. Uh, first, now back at, uh, why are we talking about fans and pumps? So the principles between fans and pumps are in, in the ACMV or in the air conditioning application is roughly the same. So first, what are the types of fans and pumps by that we are, what are being used uh, ACMV? So we'll go first with the pumps, okay? So there are three major types of pumps. The first major type is the cross flow, I uh, sorry, uh, three major types of fans. The first type of fan is the cross flow fan. This is the cross flow, this cross flow fan, uh, you, will pre, you will be probably familiar with it when you see it in the market as, uh, uh, sorry, as the tower fan, the tower fan na nakikita nyo si SM. Or yung, ano natin, yung uh, wall-mounted air conditioning, air con system. So these are the ones that are using uh, cross-flow fan. Uh, sometimes they call it as Sirocco fan. Or these are the ones that you would see in the old FX uh, uh, vehicle, yung nakalagay doon sa likod. These are the cross-flow fans. Another type of fan is the axial fan, or sometimes we call it propeller fan. So this propeller fan, uh, you'll probably be familiar with it as the household electric fan, yung uh, exhaust fan, or kung may kita nyo, ito yung parang sa jet, di ba? yung parang uh, turbine, yung, yung engine ng jet sa, sa pakpak ng aeroplano. These are actual fans, okay? Uh, you, could also, uh, you could also see them sa sa CU or sa condensing unit doon sa ano no condensing unit ng aircon natin they are also using axial fans and uh, the other type of uh, fan is the centrifugal fans so these centrifugal fans are usually uh, can be seen sa loob ng aircon natin and some, sometimes may kita nyo siya sa ibabaw ng mga building as the exhaust fan or the kitchen exhaust fan so these are the the, the centrifugal fans Centrifugal fans, whether may, uh, let me have my pointer here. So centrifugal fans, whether may housing or no housing, it's just the same, it's still a centrifugal fan. In terms of pumps naman, no, there's, a, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, pumps out there, lots of different types of fans, diaphragm, pa diaphragm pumps, uh, rotary pump, uh, piston pump, uh, diaphragm pump, so iba-iba, no? pero the most that we are using almost exclusively sa uh, air conditioning and mechanical ventilation is a centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pump. So may kita nyo, ganito siya. No? Sometimes it is called the end suction pump because uh, it's the, at the end of the uh, piping. So that's why it's called an end suction pump. But this centrifugal pump is not uh, limited to this configuration. Sometimes it's called uh, like this. It's configured like this. Uh, horizontal split case pump. It's a horizontal configuration, but it's still a centrifugal pump. Or sometimes they do it on a vertical configuration. It's vertical configuration, but this one is still con uh, centrifugal pump, multi-stage centrifugal pump. Okay? So sometimes on the air conditioning system, we also use a submersible pump. Is submersible pump, uh, piston naman to, okay, diaphragm pump. But most like, uh, most likely, sa mga application na ginagamit natin sa air conditioning and mechanical ventilation, it will be centrifugal pump. 
be submersible pump, uh, special case scenarios lang, especially sa mga drains lang sa ginagamit. So most likely, we will be, we will be handling centrifugal pumps during sa, sa air conditioning and mechanical ventilation natin. Alright. So these are the types of uh, pumps and fans that we'll be talking about. So axial fans, uh, sorry, uh, cross flow fans, axial fans, uh, centrifugal fans, and centrifugal pumps. Okay. So on the principles of operation for pumps and fans, whether it be axial, whether it be uh, sirocco or cross flow, whether it be centrifugal, it will all be limited to affinity loss. Okay. So this is the first principle that we're going to talk about, the affinity law. The affinity law is the relationship of fan properties. Okay, So there are three things that we are looking for for, for uh, fan properties. No? We will be looking for the size of the fan or the pump, size of the unit, the speed of the unit, the, the number of rotations that the unit, do, that the unit uh, does, and the, the flow of the fluid, the flow of the fluid through the pump or fans, of the, the flow going through the unit, and yung pressure ng unit. So when you change one of the parameters, the other parameters changes as well. And this affinity law will dictate or will give you a clear idea what will be the resulting parameters if you change one of the parameter. Okay. So first, Affinity law is uh, look, limited into two specific things. Affinity law, when the size of the unit remains constant. Or affinity law, when the speed of rotation of the unit remains constant. Okay. We will talk first about the size. So, ibig sabihin, yung size ng unit hindi nagbago. You change something sa unit natin, you change something sa parameter, and of course, all the uh, all the all the performance performance criteria of the unit will also change. It goes the same sa, fan, sa fans and pumps. It doesn't matter if you're talking about the fan or pump. No, the affinity law affects the both units, both uh, both units in the same way. So first, isipin natin, isipin natin ano uh, constant size. So, ibig sabihin, the, you're changing the, the parameters of the fan or the pump, but the size, the unit, still remains the same. Okay. So, this is the relationship of the fans if you change first the if you change first the rotational speed. Okay. So, if, uh, example, the Rotational speed is is uh, direct proportion to the air, to the fluid flow rate. So this is the first uh, affinity law. No, the the flow rate of the unit is directly proportional to the speed of the unit. So yung rotational ang pinag-usapan natin speed dito no yung rotational speed. So kung itong fan na to, itong pump na to, umiikot siya at binagalan mo o binilisan mo yung ikot, yung flow rate that's, that's passing through the fan or the pump is direct proportional. Okay? So equal lang siya. Uh, proportionate siya. No? Bilisan mo ng 1%, tataas yung flow mo ng 1%. Bagalan mo ng 1%, tawaba yung flow mo ng 1%. However, sa head, hindi siya direct proportional. Squared. The head is squared... Uh, directly proportional to the to the square of the rotation so halimbawa ito nag ano ka nag increase ka na nag increase ka ng 2% 2 times 2 equals 4 so yung ano yung head mo nag increase 4% so yun yung ano niya no yun yung uh, relationship niya if you having the same fan but the speed is being changed Squared of that speed is the, is the proportion of the increase or decrease of your pressure. Yung power consumption naman in proportion to the speed is cube or three times. Hindi naman um, raised to the three. Ayun, three cube raised to the three. 
So for example, etong pump na to no, in-increase mo yung speed niya ng 2%. So 2 times 2 times 2 equals to 8. Yung power nag-increase ng 8%. Okay. Example. Meron kang isang fan. Ang running frequency niya o speed niya, yung speed natin, sometimes it will be on a unit of RPM. So yung ano mo no, yung yung rotational speed ng motor mo 1444 1440 revolutions per minute or you could also express it in frequency in hertz so yung hertz mas madali nating i-measure kaysa dun sa rotational speed yung hertz can be measured sa electrical uh, electrical frequency so sa Pilipinas it's uh, 60 hertz sa dito sa Singapore it's 50 hertz kaya 50 hertz, 50 hertz yung nilagay ko dito so, yung hertz at saka yung rotational speed ng motor, since the yung axle, yung fans natin is directly uh, connected to the motor, is uh, parang yung sa flow rate, direct proportion siya. So, if you increase this one, yung rotational speed niya, ganun din yung increase or decrease, direct proportion. So, we'll be, on this example, we will be, we will be measuring based on the hertz. So, example, this fan is running at 50 hertz. Pinilitan natin. So we ask this fan to, hey, run slower. Run at 45 hertz. What will be the performance of this fan if this fan was decreased from 50 hertz to 45 hertz? So labas-labas tayo ng calculator. No? Let's, let's put out our calculators for a little bit. I'm, I'm sure you guys have your handphones with you. So first, direct proportion. So 50 hertz. Duwa ba tayo ng 45 hertz? Ano mangyayari? 50. 50 divided by 40. Ay, sorry, 45. So ano mangyayari? Anong nakakalabasan doon? 1.11. Sabi dito, 1.11, direct proportion yung flow rate natin. So, if you divide 10,000 divided by 1.11, ano lalabas? Question? Wala pa? Nine thousand. Tignan natin. Nine thousand. Ba't sa akin eight thousand? Pero sa calculator ko, nine thousand nga. Isa pa nga. Subukan pa rin yung isa, isa pa. Fifty divided by forty-five equals... 50 divided by... Oh, tama nga. 9,000 nga. Sorry guys. My slide says 45 but my calculation is at 40 hertz. Pero tama no? 9,000. Yung air flow rate natin at 45 hertz is 9,000 CMH. So mali yung slide ko. Yung slide ko is being computed at 40 hertz. So I'm so sorry about that. Wow, palitan natin ngayon. So, uh, but, uh, I'll stop my screen share first. I'll uh, share again. Share this one. All right. So, sabi natin, no? Ito, malito. Palitan natin. 9,000. Actually, 9,000. 0, 0, 0, 9. Tama ba? 9, 0, 0, 9. 9.009. Eh yung ano naman, static pressure. Anong kakalabas ng static pressure natin? Yung static pressure natin, ang sabi natin kanina sa affinity law natin, static pressure is squared. Squared of the running hertz. So, calculate natin ulit. Ano yung tama? Squared. So, ito, mali na to. Mali na to, 128. So, 1.11 times 1.11 equals 1.2321. So 200 Pascal divided by 1.2321. So ano lumabas? One 162. Yan, tama. So naging 162 Pascal na lang siya. No? O, isa pa, power consumption. Kung 35 watts to, 
ilang watts na lang siya. So sabi sa affinity daw natin, ang uh, hertz natin o yung, rev yung, yung revolution speed natin is cube to the third power kapag ka power pinag-uusapan natin. So from 35 kilowatts, ano na mangyayari? Ano na magiging power consumption niya? So again, 1.11 times 1.11 times 1.11. One point thirty-seven. So thirty-five divided by one point thirty-seven equals twenty-five point fifty-fifty-four. Sa akin, na fifty-five sa akin sa kanya fifty-two. So pwede na rin. Pwede, sabihin natin na twenty-five point five. Twenty-five point five kilowatt. Okay. Oops. Twenty-five point five kilowatt. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. You guys are great. So that's how the affinity fan works, no? I, the, the affinity law works, no? It doesn't work only on fans, but it's the same principle. It works the same sa pumps. So if your size are constant and you change your frequency, this will be the new uh, performance parameters of your fan. May kita nyo, no? Just a little bit, no? 45 over uh, uh, 50 is, ano ba yung 45 over 50? 90%, you, you lower down your, oh, excuse me. You lower down 90% of your uh, running frequency. However, you were able to, <clears throat> you were able to save about 30% of your power consumption without sacrificing much of your airflow and your static pressure. So that's how the affinity, the affinity law works. Okay. So sabi natin kanina, the affinity law affects size and speed, constant size or constant speed. So we'll go with the other, with the other parameter, constant speed naman. So kapag constant speed, ibig sabihin, yung size ang nagbabago. You're changing the size. So either yung, yung fan mo lumaki or lumiit, or yung pump mo lumaki or lumiit. Pagka lumaki at lumiit yung pump mo, pero same pa rin yung running frequency mo o yung running speed mo, ano magiging parameters ng equipment mo? So let's check. Ito naman, medyo kakaiba. No? Ang, ang basis naman natin ngayon is yung size ng fan. Kasi yun yung nagbabago. Eh. So yung change from your size 1, D1, to your size 2, D2, anong magiging effect niya doon sa flow rate mo? So kung pinilitan mo yung, yung, yung size mo, The proportion of your size change raised to the third power is proportionate to your flow rate. Yung head mo naman is to the second power. At yung uh, uh, power consumption mo to the fifth power of the ratio and proportion of your, of your sizes. Uh, example tayo. Game, parang yung ginawa natin kanina. Example. Meron tayong uh, dalawang unit. We change the size of the unit from 300 diameter impeller size to 500 diameter impeller size. Okay. So this is your D1, 300. This is your D2, 500. All right. What will be the assuming that the the speed of the uh, the speed of the unit, the rotational speed, both running at 50 or 60 hertz will remain the same. So anong kakalabasan no air flow rate natin? What will be the new airflow rate? Again, so airflow rate is to the third power. So, 300 divided by 500. Oops, sorry. Divided by 500 raised to the third power. 0.216. So, Uh, 10,000 divided by 0.216. 10,000 divided by 0.216. Ano luwa ba sa inyo? Anong na-calculate ninyo? 46,296. Oh, yeah. Oh, tama na yung sa akin ngayon. 46,296 CMH. Same with the static pressure. Check natin kung tama yung static pressure ko ngayon. 
Sabi natin yung static pressure is to the second power. To the second power ng size ng fan. So ano kakalabasan natin ng ano kakalabasan ng head natin? Check nga natin kung tama, 200 Pascal magiging 555 Pascal. Tama ba siya? Correct ba? Correct? 0.6 times 0.6 is equal to 0.36. 500 divided by 0.36. Tama ba? Ah, sorry, 200 lang pala. 200 divided by 0.36. 555. Alright. So tama na, no? 555 Pascal. <clears throat> So that's how the affinity that's how the affinity loss works. When you are changing your your equipment assuming that the size is the same, uh, sorry the the size is different but the rotational speed the hertz is the same, ito yung magiging loss mo. Ito yung ito yung relationship the for the change of size to your flow rate to your head and to your pump, ay, to your power. Question so far? Wala naman? Wala naman question. O, balik naman tayo sa susunod na topic natin. Ang susunod na topic naman natin, fan curve or pump curve. So yung fan curve at saka pump curve, again, parehas lang sila. Parehas lang yung itsura nila. So dito, ang pag-uusapan natin, is isang pump. So ito yung isang pump na binili ko dati. So ito yung pump. At yung pump, ito yung parameters niya. No? Oops. Pointer. Wait a minute ha. Let me reshare my screen. Alright, so ito yung fan na isang binili natin dati, no? isang fan, ito example natin. So ito yung technical data niya. So this fan, has, uh, this is the running speed, this is the flow rate, and this is the head. Okay. So pag binili mo siya, bibigyan ka ng manufacturer ng fan curve. So ito yung fan curve. Okay. So ito yung fan curve ng equipment natin. So we will not be looking at this portion. We will be looking at this portion first. Okay. So, here's a, a pump curve. There are three lines. First is the blue line. The blue line is the representation of the relationship of Q and H of the volume and the head. So this is the volume versus the head. Okay. This is the efficiency. Ito naman yung efficient, how efficient <clears throat> the transfer from your electrical power to mechanical power, to the mechanical energy. From your electrical energy being converted to the mechanical energy, mechanical energy, of course, there will be losses. The relationship of these losses is represented by this efficiency curve. And the red line here, this is your performance curve. So from start up to, to duty point, so pagka, mag, pagka in on mode, if you turned on your, your pump, it would go slowly, right? It will speed up from zero. It will speed up to its uh, uh, required rotational speed. So while it's speeding up, this is the path that the, the pump will take. Okay? At the performance curve. Niya. So without changing, Without changing the the criteria, ito yung head, okay, yung head mo, ito yung efficiency mo, at saka ito yung performance mo. So when you run the pump, this is the expected performance of the pump. This is your duty point. So I'm expecting my pump to run at 45 cubic meter per hour at approximately more a little bit not more than 90 meter head. So pag tinignan mo yung technical speed, no? technical spec, no? ayun nga, 45 nga, no? A little bit the 90, 92.7 head. So ito yun. 
So ayun yun know, natin nakuha. So if you put a line down, ayan, may kita mo 45. If you put a horizontal line from the duty point, ayun, may kita mo 92.7. And from your intersection of your vertical line and your uh, efficiency curve, you will be able to get an efficient uh, motor efficiency of about 78%. So, ibig sabihin, 78%, the remaining 22% will be your uh, losses that one is from electrical energy converted into the heat energy. So, what would happen naman if you, without changing the parameters of your speed, remaining at 29.34 RPM, without changing the size of your unit, remain the same, you're using the same unit, what would happen if you increase the head? Kanina, no, pinag-uusapan natin, you change your size and you change your speed. Ngayon naman, the, the size and the speed of the unit is the same. You're not changing any, any of the speed and, and you're not changing the size of the unit. But you're changing the head. Just the head. Anong mangyayari? Doon sa performance, no, pump mo or ng fan mo. So ito ngayon yun, no? So from 45, I sorry, ang ang parameter natin is from from 92, you want it to change to 100 meter head. So ito yun, no? So from 92, you want it to change it to 100 meter. So ibig sabihin at 100 meters, you draw a horizontal line. And when it intersects your inter, intersects your QH curve, you draw a vertical line. And using this, you will be able to estimate, oh, at 100 head, you will be able to get about 40 cubic meter per hour. Your duty point uh, moved from here to here. So that's how you're going to, that's how we use the pump curve, no? We will be able to estimate or you'll be able to predict the performance of the curve. So this is your performance line. You will be able to predict the performance of the curve based at the performance of the unit based on this curve. If you want a higher flow rate, of course, you would expect a lower head, but you will be able to estimate what is the head that will be running on. Okay. Question? Wala naman? No question? Okay, I will continue. So, yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, no? pinag-usapan natin uh, pagka nagbalit tayo ng Ah, nagpalit tayo ng hertz. Nagpalit tayo ng speed. Ano mangyayari sa pump natin? Meron tayong calculation kanina. Let's see if this calculation rings true sa pump sa performance curve or sa fan and pump curves natin. Okay. So example, etong etong curve natin na to. Etong Q and H curve natin. It will be running at 50 hertz. Okay? So yung zero will be at 0 hertz. So at duty point, it will be 100 hertz. Okay. Sorry, not 100 hertz, 100% 100 hertz. So zero is zero hertz. This point will be 50 hertz at 100% running. Okay, 50 hertz at running. So pag hinati natin tong line, tong purple line na to, hinati natin. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hinati natin sa lima. Ito, this point here, is the midpoint from here to here. Okay? So at this point, it's the midpoint. So 50% of 50 hertz would be at 25 hertz. Yeah. Balik tayo sa previous slide, no? So pag hinati mo tong line na to sa kalahate, the point will be somewhere here. And this would be half of this one. This is considered at 100%. So at half of it, this would be at 50%. 50% of 50 hertz will be at 25 hertz. 25 hertz. Kung papansin nyo, if we zoom in a little bit, let me see if I can zoom this one in. Zoom in. All right. Oops, sorry. I can zoom in again. Zoom in. All right. So kung papansin nyo, yung blue line natin, no? dito, sa, dito sa portion na ito, manipis, Dito sa portion na ito, medyo makapal. But maski yung black line natin, no? Itong from here to this point is makapal. But from this point to this point is manipis. 
Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Ang ibig sabihin niyan, this would be your stall area. Ano ibig sabihin ng stall area? Stall area means your your unit will stall or will stop running. The motor will stall. It will run. So it stalls, no? At this point, usually, the motor will stall at 25 or at 50%. If you're at the Philippines, uh, 50% of 60 would be at 30 hertz. So at 30 hertz, no, usually, the motor will stall. The newer motors now uh, don't stall. Some of the newer motors now, especially the IE5 or the EC motors, no, they could run at even lower hertz, like at 2 hertz, 3 hertz, 4 hertz, they could even run. But the older ones, the older motors, they're usually the the stall point or the stall area nila is at 50% or 25 hertz. Okay. So which means if you want your your new duty point to be somewhere here, hindi pwede. Sabihin, kumuha ka na ibang unit. You change, your, you change into a different unit so you can have that uh, parameter for you. So which means these are the only operating uh, parameters that your pump can actually perform. It cannot perform anywhere here. Here only. Okay. So again, this is at 50 hertz. We, we said earlier, hinati uh, siya. So this one at 25 hertz, so 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100%. At 100%, ito yung uh, performance uh, performan, uh, duty point natin. So this line, I can also draw a similar line with this intersection. Intersection na uh, purple line at saka nitong red line. So I wrote, uh, sorry, the performance line, performance curve, at saka ng vertical red line. So I I chose this this line, yan, ginuhit ko lang siya, similar pa baba, yan, isa-isa. Kung mapansin nyo, kung ito 50 hertz, itong line nito 45. This one will be 40, this one will be 35, this one will be 30, and this one will be 25. So let's see, no? If the if the affinity law still applies here, so at 45 hertz, may natin yung flow rate natin from 40. So from 45, magiging 40. So this one at 45, uh, intersection itong line na to at saka itong line na to, may kita mo pag binaba mo siyang ganon at 40. Yung head niya a little more than 75. Pag kinalculate mo, ito yung units na lumalabas. So tama, no? 40.5, eh? 40 siya. Nasa nakalagay siya sa 40, oh. 75.87, ayun, no? medyo nasa gitna siya ng 70 tsaka ng 18. So this is how you, you predict the performance of your unit using your pump or your fan, fan curve. Question? Wala naman. No question? So I will go to the last topic. No? Yung last topic natin is yung fan and pump connections. Okay. There are two types of connections na pwede natin gawin. Okay. How did you get the power po? Okay, power. Yung power natin, 13.5 uh, kilowatt. May kita natin dito sa previous slide natin. Sorry. Ayun. 18.5 kilowatt. Power required by the pump is 18.5 kilowatt. So using your affinity law, you're able to calculate 13.5 kilowatt. So uh, 50 divided by 45 is 1.11. 1.11 times 1.11 times 1.11 or 1.11 cube. Limiting kulita 1.11 times 1.11 times 1.11 equals 1.37. So 18.5 divided by 1.37 equals to 13.5 kilowatts. Okay. Thank you. Good question. Good question. Okay. So
So fan and pump, uh, fan and pump connection. So there's two ways lang, no? There's two ways for you to connect a pump or a fan. First is parallel connection. Parallel connection, ibig sabihin, same, uh, same suction point, same discharge point. So parallel connection. So ito yung example ng ano, no? pump in parallel. So all of these four pumps is sucking from one uh, common pipe and discharging to the same common pipe. Etong fan na to, no? Discharging at the, uh, sucking from the same uh, header and discharging same to the atmosphere, same point. Doesn't really matter kung nag-connect mo sila, no? Pero it's uh, dis discharging at the same point, same place. All right. Example ulit. Ito yung single pump natin or single unit natin. So single unit, ito yung flow, ito yung head. Assuming that this will be your performance curve of your unit, ito yung duty, pipe, duty point niya. We're using a pump here for example. No? So assuming this is the duty point of your pump, ano mangyayari if you put pumps together in parallel? Okay. What happens is this is the, fan, uh, the curve for one pump and this will be the curve for two pumps. Mapapansin nyo, no? When, when you connect pumps in parallel, the system performance curve goes farther, but the pressure remains the same. Only the flow increases, doubles to be exact, 100%, uh, half of the design. So this will be, this length is equal to this length. The flow adds up. So this is the maximum flow for one unit. This is the maximum flow for the other unit. Combined, this is the maximum flow of the system. However, the head is still the same. So if you're in, if you're connecting units in parallel, you are increasing the flow, but not the head of the system. Okay, question? That's the important part, no? If you're, if you're connecting units in parallel, the flow increases, but the head remains the same. Ano naman mangyari kapag ka magkaiba? So this, ano, this uh, system curve assumes that you are connecting two pumps of the same type. So may kita nyo dito, identical pumps. So these four pumps are identical pumps. These two fans are identical fans. When you connect one, one unit and you connect it to multiple units of identical capacity of, or identical units, so yung flow nila adds up, pero yung head parehas. Ano naman mangyayari? What would happen if you put these similar pumps? One pump is smaller than the other. Ano mangyayari? Ang mangyayari niya, this pump will overpower this smaller pump. You will see this is a smaller pump, no? And this is the larger pump. If the larger pump is running as an example, the duty point is here, way above the small pump, this small pump would seem like it doesn't exist. Yung fluid mo will all go to the larger pump. It will not go to the smaller pump. What would even happen is the fluid will go here and will distribute to here and to here. At this point, magkakaroon ka ng backflow because you have two dissimilar pumps. Question? For you to connect two dissimilar pumps, you have to run them at the same parameters. So ito, no? so, so at a point B2, no? pareha sila. Pareha sila ng head. When they are running at the same pressure, then their flow rate 
is additive. So yun yung ano no, yun yung secret dito sa first uh, parallel uh, sa first curve nila no. They are both running at the same head. So if you have two dissimilar pumps and you run them at the same head, their flow rate becomes additive. But if you run them on different heads, the smaller pump will act as if it doesn't exist. Question. Lanaman, no question? All right. I will continue. Ito yung, uh, ito naman, series connection naman. Series connection. So you can see here, no? The pump suction, and then it will discharge. The discharge is directly connected to the suction of the second pump. And suction, then discharge. Discharge again to the suction of the third pump. And then so on and so forth. So ito yung, ano, no? ito yung uh, configuration niya. Apat na pumps in series. Or here, this is tatlong fans in series also. So the, the, suction, of the, the, the suction of one pump is directly connected. To the, to the discharge of the second pump, uh, the first pump, sorry. The discharge of the first pump is connected to the suction of the second pump, so on and so forth. All right, so again, so this would, this would happen. Uh, if you are looking at the performance curve again of, uh, of our unit, no? this is a single unit. Single unit, ito yung uh, pressure performance niya, ito yung flow performance niya. If you put two units in series, this is, this is what would happen. From this one, your system curve becomes this one. So kabalik tara ng una, no? If you put equipments in series, your flow remains the same, but your head increases. Tumaas yung pressure ninyo, tumaas yung pressure capacity ninyo, tumaas yung pressure ng system ninyo. But the flow remains the same. So yun yung purpose nito, no? Ang purpose nito, in, not to increase the flow. The reason you're putting them in series is not to increase the flow, but to increase the pressure of the system. Increases the pressure, pataas. Yung kanina, pahalang. Ta ngayon, vertical naman ngayon yung changes niya. Similar to the parallel connection, you must connect pumps of identical capacity, identical performance, identical units. See, this fan is identical to the fan behind, identical to the fan behind. This pump is identical to the pump before it, identical to the pump before it, identical to the pump before it. So these four pumps are identical. These three fans are identical. When you do, when you connect identical units in series, this will be the, the result of your system curve. It goes vertically. Your head increases, but your flow remains the same. Same question as before. What would happen if you connect in series this similar pump, uh, this similar unit, this similar sizes? Same, no? Pag ganun din siya, pataas din siya. However, just like the previous one, if this one is bigger than this one, this one would act as if it doesn't exist. So pag hinigup nito, hihigupin niya pa ganun, well, lugi na to. Hindi na siya makakagalaw. That happens if you run them again at different parameters. However, no, there's a, there's a disclaimer. It only happens if you connect them right beside each other. So if you connect this one to a smaller one, this one will bypass this one and go directly to this one. But if you connect them on the same head setting, same head setting, parehas na ng pressure head, it will, the flow will be additive. Ah, sorry, the head will be additive. But the flow remains the same. Magiging ganito rin siya, no? head additive, but the flow remains the same. Saan naman gagamit yun? So sometimes when you put this uh, uh, one, one unit far, far at the end, 
So ito yung mga tinatawag natin na maliliit na booster fan or booster pump. Those booster fans or booster pumps are connected to the system in series. However, they are connected on a point where the pressure is same as the system pressure of the smaller unit. So if you connect it at the near the unit, no, you, near the equipment, of course the the pressure is uh, very high. But if you connect it at the end, at the other end of the of the of your piping of, or or of your ducting, where the pressure is very low, when you add this one, you can increase the head or you can increase the pressure, but the total capacity will still remain the same. Question. Question? Walang question? All right. So in summary, no? In summary, there are a few types of uh, fans and pumps. So pag sa air conditioning and mechanical ventilation, fans will be the Sirocco fans or the post flow fans, capsule fans, or the centrifugal fans. Sa pumps naman, we will only be using centrifugal pumps, whether it be end suction or... Uh, horizontal speed case or this uh, vertical type, they're all considered as uh, centrifugal pumps. Okay. Oh, this ano pala, no? this uh, vertical pump no? are a prime example of pumps in series. So th these are few pump cases connected in series. So these pumps and fans are governed by your affinity law. Your affinity law is considered as Affinity law based on same size, but different running speed, or different uh, size, but same running speed. Okay. All your pumps and fans would have a system curve or a pump curve. This will give you a, this will give you an idea, or it will be, you will be able to predict the performance of the unit based on these curves assuming that the size and speed of the unit remains the same. You will be changing the flow or the head of the unit. And this curve will tell you what is the resulting flow or what is the resulting head. Pumps and fans can be connected in two ways. Either they will be connected in parallel or they will be connected in series. If you connect them in parallel, the head is the same, but the flow is additive. If you connect it in series, the flow is the same, but the head is additive. And that's it. Thank you very much. Any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Uh, affinity law can be applied on HU fan selection and also for ventilation fan. Yes, that's exactly what it is for. So you can have your HU fan selection and your ventilating fan selections. Yes, it is applicable to that. That's exactly the purpose of it. Thank you very much, Eric, for your question. And any more question? Ulana? Gagaling naman ng mga umatin sa atin ngayon. <laughs> All right. Kung wala nang question, uh, thank you very much. No? Thank you very much for uh, for spending your Saturday Saturday evening with me. Saturday evening together. We will, that we may be able to learn together. So, our next training session will be on April na. So, medyo matagal na. No? We have a three-week break. So the next one will be the design, uh, case study design of a clean room. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and register for that event. If you guys have any questions uh, regarding here on our discussion today, you can always email me, uh, email me or message me on my number. I will send you guys the copy of the slides that we have used and also the link for this recording. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I will let you go now. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And uh, stay safe. Bye.